today we're going to be taking a look at the second of four pieces of equipment that I purchased in response to the Ontario lockdowns of 2022. This is just a very simple pull-up bar that I purchased off Amazon. A lot like the last piece of equipment that I reviewed, the resistance bands, this one was just to help me get a really solid workout at home, or at least as close to that as I could possibly muster. Uh, especially when it comes to back exercises, it can be very challenging to get a solid workout with equipment at home. Now when it comes to this piece of equipment, the first thing I think is worth mentioning is that pulling those bars out, uh, although it's very convenient for the sake of putting it away and having it be a lot more compact and take up less space, it is a little bit difficult initially to open them up. I had to pull quite hard in order to get them to open. Uh, and then after that, it does get easier. You know, the more you do it, the more easily it swings out. When it comes to actual setup, extremely simple, just sort of hook it right onto the frame. You kind of want to check to make sure that the door is wide enough in order to handle it. Uh, but once you have a door frame that is wide enough to handle it, just make sure that the uh, foam pads that are on the bottom part of the chin up slash pull up bar are facing flat against the wall. Then of course a quick check, as you can see, just to make sure that it can hold my weight. And I was impressed. I mean, it did its job. It held up well. I didn't notice any real significant bending or anything like that. Now, of course, positives for this thing seem solidly constructed. I really like the swing in and out bars. They are great when it comes to being able to take it out, put it away. Uh, it makes for a very convenient option, something that can slide away somewhere inconspicuous and not take up a lot of room. Uh, on the other hand, even though it's something that has those sort of swing on arms and, you know, the articulation may give some people pause and concern for how sturdy it is. It is very sturdy. I weigh about 190-ish pounds, just a little bit north of that. And as you can see, it handles my weight quite well. Now, it does warn against doing pull-ups in a jerky, bouncy kind of motion. So if you do a lot of kipping or kicking or bouncing, guess what? Time for you to stop that. It's time to just really focus on the lift here. Now, uh, I really wanted to make sure that this was a solid piece of equipment. So I actually did my full back workout with it. Uh, and of course, every set trying to make sure that I was pulling in a very controlled fashion, nice and slow with my repetitions in terms of not letting momentum do the lifting for me, because that would create a lot of jerking and bouncing that may interrupt the chin up bars ability to hold me on this wall. And if there's one thing I don't want, it's to do a pull up and all of a sudden find myself just sort of hanging on nothing. So this thing did a really good job. I wanted to get a close up so you can see how well it holds up against my weight. Uh, and so we kind of getting really tight in on the actual bar here. And you can see under my weight, it kind of pushes into the wall. But once it gets there, it's pretty stable. It doesn't really move anywhere. And yeah, it's been doing a solid job. One thing I would say is that if you notice the door frame, it has some uh, adornment to the design there. And so the little uh, bumps, the raised sections of it, do touch the chin bar a little bit. And if you're not careful, can cause a little bit of paint chipping and damage. So be aware of that. But other than that, solid piece of equipment. I give it an eight out of 10.